Music is the language. Music transcends any barriers that we have. We have more similarities than we have differences. And so as the years have unfolded, we've seen a need to bring us together as one humanity. Music is storytelling. Music is poetic. Music is life. Music is experience. It heals. It, it, everybody loves music. It's, it makes you feel good, makes you dance, makes you cry. Music is, uh, is, is one of the most spiritual things in our lives. I feel like it's uh, the natural human instinct to self-heal and heal each other. Music is heart and soul and mindfulness. I mean, music can put you in a mood. Music, I think, just sets so much emotion. It has something that affects the human spirit that is really, it's really not up for debate. The definition of music is organized sound and silence. Without music, I, 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 don't, I don't think I'd survive. For me, the Raven Drum Foundation, and when I heard what they were doing, I immediately understand that music can create connectivity, can, can help build a root system that's been uprooted. And that's just an amazing approach to recentering yourself. It's an experience of sounds, that thing that touches your soul, and it's memorable. There's nothing better for healing, for feeling good, for feeling sad, for every emotion you feel through your daily life, we all gravitate towards music. While something's playing, I can look at the person next to me, and all of a sudden we're both doing this. And in that moment, however long that song is, we're all one. Music actually can heal. I played on so many records, so many songs, with so many different great artists, and it, it just gets me, and it just it, it changes my body. When you have the feeling you know, it drives you. I love this. If I feel something, then it moves me. And if I can play my instrument and move people, then I've really done something that's special to me, you know. When you're playing by yourself, it's not a communication, it's an exercise. The second someone else walks in and gets involved, it becomes a conversation. Bap, 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 bap. Now you got a groove going on. Energy transfer is real, and when, I, you know, I can feel it in the room when everyone starts going, there's so much happiness and so much joy. Your eyes are closed, you're feeling the music, the beats, the rhythm, they're talking you through life and experiences, and, and before you know it, man, Things that I have maybe suppressed, things that I haven't thought about, all of a sudden things are coming to my mind. I'm looking around and everyone's in that same space and that same experience, and you feel lighter at the end of it all. I did not think this was what this event was gonna be about. Because sound reaches out and physically touches your body and vibrates your body, and that's how we hear things, right? I think we really naturally fall in love with good sounds, with good vibes, with good feelings. And it, it, it doesn't take us even saying yes to the experience because it's gonna, it's gonna vibrate us whether we want it to or not, you know? With the unity of the group and the circle, in the same rhythm, we were all in the same vibration. And that's, that's the drum circle, that's the vibe, that we're all connected. When you can put someone back in rhythm with someone else. It doesn't fix what they went through, but it reminds them that they're still in harmony with somebody else, that they're still in rhythm with the rest of the world. And, and that thing is not what defines them, right? That they get to choose how they wanna play the rhythm, where they wanna fit in the beat, you know? What harmony they wanna sing. An old mentor, Colonel Bruce Hampton always said, he said, music is a ritualistic healing process. And I think when it's, when it's done right, I feel like that's what we all strive to make and what we strive to create.